Let's discuss a problem that appeared in KVPY 2014 under the stream SB or SX. And the question says that let i n equal to integral 0 to pi by 2x to the power n cos x dx, where n is a non negative integer, then uh, summation n equal to, to infinity i n by factorial n plus i n minus 2 by factorial n minus 2 equals is how much. Now, uh, to start with, uh, since uh, in the question there is a relation between i n and i n minus 2, naturally we can plan to find the reduction formula for this particular integral. So, we can plan to find the reduction formula for i n for that we will be using integration by parts. So, according to the given data, we know i n is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 x to the power n into cos x dx. Now, to apply integration by parts, we will be taking x to the power n as the first function and cos 6 as the second function according to eyelet rule and uh, this will give rise to the result that is x to the power n into sin x minus n into integral x to the power n minus 1 into sin x dx. Now we will be substituting limits in the first portion and on substituting the limit for the first portion, we'll be getting um, pi by 2 to the power n and on lower limit, we'll be getting 0. Minus, for the other part, we can again apply integration by parts by taking the algebraic function to be the first and the trigonometric function to be the second and we can proceed with the integration by parts process and to get minus x to the power n minus 1 cos 6 plus n minus 1 into integral x to the power n minus 2 cos 6 dx integral limits 0 to pi by 2 and similarly here it is going to be 0 to pi by 2. Now we can see that uh, here for this particular part on putting pi by 2 the upper limit this factor will be 0 and putting 0 the lower limit this factor will be 0. So, this whole part can be said to be 0. So, we are getting a reduction formula out there because uh, if we closely inspect, then you can see that this particular part is going to be i n minus 2. Okay. So, we can uh, write down i n is equal to pi by 2 to the power n minus n into n minus 1 i n minus 2. So, the reduction formula is i n plus n into n minus 1 i n minus 2 is equal to pi by 2 to the power n. Now, if we go to the problem, we need to find uh, this particular summation that is i n by factorial n plus i n minus 2 by factorial n minus 2. So, what we can do is that we can simply divide both the sides by factorial n to get that structure because uh, you can see that uh, this factorial n will be balanced by this n and n minus 1. So, in the very next step, we can easily write down i n upon factorial n plus uh, i n minus 2 upon factorial n minus 2. Okay, because these two terms will be cancelled out out of uh, this factorial n to give us factorial n minus 2 and RHS will become pi by 2 to the power n by factorial n. Now, according to the problem, we need to find the summation of this where n is varying from 2 to infinity. So, we can apply summation on both the side. So, summation n equal to 2 to infinity i n by factorial n plus i n minus 2 by factorial n minus 2. So, that is nothing but that is nothing but summation pi by 2 to the power n divided by factorial n where n is varying from 2 to infinity. Now if we continue this series then uh, the series will come out to be pi by 2 square by factorial 2 plus pi by 2 cube by factorial 3 and in this way it is going to continue to infinity. So, you can easily check out that this is nothing but an exponential series, but uh, the first two terms are not present in this particular series. So, we can say that this is the expansion of e to the power pi by 2, uh, except the first term that is 1 and the second term which is going to be pi by 2. 
so that is 5 by 2 to the power 1 by factorial 1 so that term is also missing so finally we can write down the answer to be e to the power 5 by 2 minus 1 minus 5 by 2